Yo, yo, yo! How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to uh, episode 25 of Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. We're almost at the end. We're on day 14 out of, I think, 15 days. And, uh, yeah, we're at Bailey and Lua's, like, after-hours party thing, even though it's just four of them, even though you would think for a big party there would be more than just the four of them, but I guess we forgot to invite everyone else. <laughs> because we're terrible at our delivery job, even though we're a barista. I'm alive. I didn't die. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And <laughs> forgot about that. that <laughs> yeah. um, I saved Brent. If you if you uh, <laughs> I've been revived. He's been I'm revived. on the brink of death. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he's cut, bleeding out everywhere. He cut his finger and uh, yeah, I saved him. It was all me. <laughs> it, it was all me. It was all my quick thinking. That was it. So if anybody's uh, going to be hailed a hero, uh, it's definitely me. Yeah, screw the wedding. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about real life stuff more. Uh, that's more exciting than this wedding. Uh, anyway, there's a hard version and a soft version. There's hardcore porn and there's softcore porn. <laughs> In the hard version, I use vodka. In the soft I, version, I don't use vodka. I forgot to talk about the hard, uh, soft drinks and hard. Oh, hard, hard drinks. I forgot too. <laughs> so I was really confused as well what they were talking about. It's like, sorry, in your hardcore porn, you use vodka. In your softcore, you don't use vodka. <laughs> well, sorry, what? <laughs> Fair enough. It's, it's whether or not he wants to remember it afterwards. All true. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what else goes into it? Oh, a little bit of basil, some lemon juice, a pinch of salt, tonic water. That sounds like something I would enjoy. Wait for it. And of course, a big dollop of fresh blood. Well, here it comes. Zero type. Not zero type, but O type. Preferably universal donors and all that. I can do without the, the blood. <laughs> Yuck. I think this is a joke. Oh, this is a joke. Nope. And this is why he never gets invited to parties. Oh, come on, you guys. Just right, drink can, blood with me. You can just have the drink without the blood. That's literally just the end of the drink. So you just cut off the end of the drink. Is it different? Yeah, it's totally different. There's no blood in it. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm invited to all it's the like parties. How, it's like, all right, I'll just bleed into my own drink and drink that. <laughs> there you go. It, is, it doesn't help because Ew, it's still gross. gross. <laughs> I'm not going to drink my own blood. That's disgusting. <laughs> if people care to give me the invitation, that is. Ah, uh, Mr. Hyde. I apologized for that already, but please let me say it. Oh yeah, he's dissing us because we never gave him the uh, invitation. But guess what? You never came in. So how was I supposed to give you the invitation? I'm going to stay on my <laughs> high horse and I'm going to yell at you. Uh, I apologize for that already, but please let me say it. Well, you I'm play as Otto and... and and fall off the horse. <laughs> Look at this. I'm truly sorry for forgetting to give Bailey's invitation to Gala. Why would I do that? It's for you, and maybe you had a plus one for someone else, right? We assumed yeah. it was going to be Gala. <laughs> we, we weren't sure, and it was addressed to you. And you still showed up, so who we really lost? Exactly, here. right? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, right? The important thing is, it all turned out Fine. It was a very, it was very short notice, so I was going to text everyone anyway, just to be sure. Still, I'm immortally wounded. I would have been displeased to miss this. It's when you're pinned up to a cross and you cannot move, and you can't die because you are immortal. Immortal. <laughs> That's brutal. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being with us, the three of you. I was pretty sure I was going somewhere with that, and I just kind of like <laughs> just kind of trailed off. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for having us. It was fun to meet your friends from work, Bailey's, and your sister, Lua. She's got a very strong character. I respect that. She's impossible, you mean? But I love her to bits. Yeah, she took a while to warm up to me at first. I'm dating her now. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, just a year or three. She probably wanted to make sure you were right for her baby sister. Yes, that was definitely the reason why. She's always think... She always thinks of me as some sort of charity case. Softy, or that she needs to protect. Well, at least not a hardy. <laughs> 
Uh, well, I mean, compared to her, Gala is a softie. I'd say Gala is a softie compared to many people. God, I can't even do the high voice anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm, mm. But yes, I think she could take him when he's under fury. If Otto ever moves out, I'm mo I'm out. Uh, I'm moot. I'm <laughs> moot. out of my special tea. I'm moot in the boot of my special tea. <laughs> I can ask for your sister's number, I guess. You would have to hurry, or you'll have to step over mm, your primary school friend, Bailey. He's already dating her. Yeah. Oh, uh, Marco. <laughs> God, I just... Uh, Bailey's is the most unforgettable person to voice. I don't know why. Marco, I thought I'd caught him staring at her. Or staring at her. I thought I'd caught him staring at her. That makes more sense. I bet they didn't leave it at staring. The two witnesses? Delightfully cliche, isn't it? You seem, you seem to be enjoying the gossip very much, Mr. Hyde. Of course I do. That's how I take my best pictures. Longing glances. Touches filled with pent-up desire. Scorn dissimulated in a smirk. Every time I see pent up, I just think like Pentagon. So I think <laughs> of five touches. Five touches. Exactly. Five and touches. Five up. Oh, wow. Know. Hopefully you've captured some pictures of our lovebirds too. Ah, yes. I really can't wait to see them. Well, that's the downside of film. I know, I know. But it will be worth it. I'm so, ah, so I'm happy to be patient. Good girl. In that case, I have a little reward for you. Bailey's can play doctor. Oh, a perfect shot. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Look at his, his hair is all up and everything. It's and not even like how his hair is now. No, not at all. Not at all whatsoever. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess. I guess he did go through the rain. Yeah, yeah. And so Why it kind of padded down. Is that supposed to be outside? It's raining, though. Uh, Maybe not where they were. Maybe where maybe they it was were. inside a concert? Could be. Where there's also bushes? I guess. I don't know. No. Oh, look at this, bay. This is amazing. What a beautifully uh, captured moment, Mr. Hyde. It's photoshopped. <laughs> It's not the real photo whatsoever. <laughs> yes, truly. Thank you for doing this, Hyde. Don't mention it. I had an all right time doing it in Photoshop. Anyway, voice crack. You can keep this if you want. It's just a Polaroid, but... Ah, uh, no, it's absolutely lovely. It looks so friendly and warm. Like the wedding we always really wanted to have. Yes, once we sifted through the superflow <laughs> details. Ah, uh, the superfluous. Super superfluous. I know I know how to say it, but I it caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you guys figured that out in the end. And I love this picture. Needs more bokeh though. <laughs> Do you only have the one, Mr. Hyde? Why, Otto? You wanna frame it and hang it in your wall? Uh actually yeah, something like that. Good thing I saw it coming. If our newlyweds don't object, I have almost the exact same one here for you. No objections whatsoever. Yeah, I'd love that. It would mean a lot to have a little memory of this day hanging around here. Thank you so much. No, thank you. We're the same voice now, apparently. <laughs> so I'm getting lazy. <laughs> yes, Otto, I'm not sure where we'd be without you. I don't know. I didn't change much. I forgot I... to give you ever give everyone all your invitations and everything. <laughs> I'm surprised anyone showed up to your wedding. <laughs> I know where I would be in, in a year or so. Not being like not smoking is like I would actually have a better voice. Oh <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I hope they make a third game where she hasn't smoked, and then you can be like, "Hello, <laughs> hello. I'm Lua." <laughs> hello. How are you? Oh yeah, like the hello. That one's hard. Yeah. <laughs> So I take it you have decided to embrace photography, Mr. Hyde? It would seem so. Damn it! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, tell them. Tell us what? Nothing's been confirmed yet. They're certainly not going back on it. Uh, and you aren't either, right? I read that, I'm like, is that wrong? And I read, <laughs> read it again. That was right. I mean, of, it was right. Of course not. Well then. Just tell them the story. It's obvious you're dying to. Don't have to ask me twice. Hyde has already agreed to shoot another wedding. They're a really sweet couple who has been coming to visit their kid at the hospital. 
Little Rose has been sick for a while. Doctor thinks she's going to get better eventually, but no one knows exactly when. So her par parents, parents, have decided to get married in her room with her around. That's a lovely idea. It's like the way she talks just ruins the whole mood. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I bet little Rose is thrilled. She is. An entire party next to her bed. Can you imagine? Anyway, and anyhow, they, uh, they got to chatting with Mr. Hyde here. And just like that, he promised to take their pictures pro bono. Because they're... No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, pro boner. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they had their children. Oh, gosh. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's very good of you, Mr. Hyde. It's nothing. I could use experience so that I can milk my modeling ex-colleagues for their wedding pictures. Sounds like good social redistribution to me. Right. So, does that mean you're sticking around Seattle for good, Hyde? Yeah, I've got the house and I've got the job. And I've got my own pocket werewolf. He's my new Pokemon. And I got the time. <laughs> and so it sounds like I'll be staying here a little while. That was a, the, the way I said that it was a mix between Lua and B B B Borat. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I've got the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear. How's the house coming along? Mm, taking ages, but it'll look good when it's finished. I'm having it redone from scratch, so it's a process. But as a vampire, my needs are a little... Mm, particular? It's risque. <laughs> I need my own sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think it's uh, normal to be particular when it comes to your dream home, you know? What would a dream house look like for the two of you? Mm, we're not too sure yet. But we're not repeating the same mistakes. No endless da da chill scrolling to look at other people's homes. And no overspending or feeling inadequate on my side. That's right, everything is my fault. <laughs> my love. It's all right, I'm glad we talked it all through. Lua made me realize that it's fine if I don't earn as much as she does. And if my family doesn't contribute anything. In fact, Lua's mom told me the same thing during the wedding. I didn't know you talked about it. What do you mean? She said it in front of everyone. <laughs> she was pretty ba loud. Bailey is, you are poor and you cannot, uh, <laughs> you cannot, uh, what's the provide. word? Provide, yeah, for my daughter, but that's okay. <laughs> Just like as part of the wedding speech. He was like very, he was very like, with the, uh, not nonchalant. No, he was just, no. he didn't pick up on the, the sarcasm that oh. he was, the, 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 the talking down to him. Yeah, the like, condescending, like, face value. Yeah, right. <laughs> didn't you, didn't you know she was tearing you apart, Bailey's? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Everyone's like, don't tell him, don't, don't. He's right. fine. Let him be ignorant. <laughs> don't worry. It went really well. I couldn't sense any sarcasm with anyone. <laughs> she said what mattered to her is that was that it make her daughter happy. Which is good, because that's what matters to me, too. I don't care about money. And a uh, uh, happy Lua is a Lua who powers through her job. Yeah, I really can't consider slowing down my career. Well, maybe a little child. Yeah, when that co when the time comes, but I was going to say when that comes out. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not, that's not how the sentence goes. <laughs> the thing is, I don't mind slowing down my career. You don't have a career at this point. You're a freelancer. You just kind of... That's why he's doing air quotes. Air quotes, <laughs> career. <laughs> I've always been the one bringing why? up the kids topic. It's not that I don't want them, but I was afraid of what it'd do to my work. That makes sense. Women are always expected to do more when it comes to child rearing. Well, not in our couple. We've decided that when we have kids, I'll be the stay-at-home dad. I'll still do some freelance work if and when I have time. But stay-at-home dad that does some YouTubing on the side. <laughs> yeah. And, and monetizing my own children. Jeez, <laughs> this is already a recipe for disaster. <laughs> It'll be my new career. Oh, oh boy. Um, not so much for when the money, or not so much for the money as to keep my brain working, but I'll be taking care of the little ones and of our place. You know, I keep thinking, how happy am I to that I met you? I'm married you. 
Are I, you okay? I, I screwed up, <laughs> and I was like, let's roll with that. That'll work. Oh my gosh. Not many, many, many men. Many, many men would have wanted that. I feel like she's getting to the point where she's like, I need a cigarette. Where is it? <laughs> I mean, if she's been I, a smoker I, for like every day, I, I mean. I stuttered many men and said many, many. Oh my God. You'd be surprised. Times are changing and so on. Times are making more room for people to follow their wishes. I've known many men who'd rather stayed home with their children than go to work every day and almost never see them. You two just compliment each other well. I think so too. Mr. Miller. Mm, I was gonna do a high voice, that's not. Mrs. Wa- Uh, no. Using my family name on you feels wrong. Ha! Now you would throw a fit if they heard you do that. They absolutely would. It's almost tempting. What, what is what is a drink that starts with W? Wine. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's a type of drink. I was thinking of a brand. Oh, a brand? Uh, we Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire <laughs> shosh. Uh, but none of that matters much anyway. As long as we're still Lua and Baileys. As long as we're still Lua and Baileys. Just hammered. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is a boring conversation and I, I, I got a Facebook notification, but I have to go leave. It sounds like Hyde has found a new way forward. He has, yeah. I'm really happy about that. When I first met him, I thought he was a bit mysterious. And honestly, a bit of a jerk. He's just rude now, but he's <laughs> really quite fragile, isn't he? There's nothing more solid and more fragile than an immortal. What? I guess I, that doesn't make sense, Otto. Come on, uh, man. I know you wanted to sound cool, but it doesn't. No. You're just <laughs> building up time because you <laughs> yeah. were expected to say something. Yeah. So you're like, things. I get that. I yeah. do that too. I was going to say, I think uh, Otto is you, Brent. <laughs> Yeah, nothing screws me with your head quite as much as having unlimited time. Even elves with their uh, only longish lives have issues. I can imagine. Werewolves are somewhere between elves and humans. And we also struggle with that stuff. Just like Goku. I guess the <laughs> bottom line is... You guys seen Dragon Ball Super? <laughs> I'm addicted to it right now. Everyone gets bored and confused once in a while, right? Like, he, he goes berserk and his eyes change. Just like when I need fear, the, the, the fury thing. <laughs> yeah. and, and the longer you live, the more once in a life, or once in a whiles you get. That makes sense to me. I will say though, it's, I'm mighty happy that he's sticking around. For all that he can be a difficult one, he also makes life a lot more interesting. And we just really get with, get each other after all this time. You two know what I mean? Yes, we really do. You should get married with them. <laughs> At this point, even when we need to take a bit of a time out. I'm dating his sister, her sister. <laughs> we can trust that we'll always find our way back to each other. Uh, that's right. You know, he's got a way of finding good people. Hyde, I mean. He liked Otto from the start. Not that I've ever disagreed, but he just really got you right away. He has been very kind to me, and perceptive about me as well. I'm glad he befriended you too. That's mostly because he's probably also half immortal, and he's like, ah, another immortal. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I can tell you're not just human. Yeah. That, this chat right now, it's really good. You're all right too, Gala. He's, he'll be the youngest one first to die out of these immortals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing more of you. Ha, huh. right back at you. This. Ah, listen to that. It's pouring rain again. <laughs> I like how they it's just cold. I like how they just turned up the volume for the rain. <laughs> As if Gala was just like, oh no, the rain, it's getting too loud. And he's got like a little like <laughs> dial on, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> he just turns up the rain. It must be something in the atmosphere. Or, or better yet, Otto is the one that turns up the rain because it's, <laughs> it's his coffee shop, right? Yeah. And so they, normally it's just raining normally outside, but then he ups it <laughs> to get people out of a store. <laughs> I'd really be cold if I didn't have your jacket, Bane. 
Um, but are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I always worry about you. And I guess that's kind of my job now. Only if I get to worry about you too. No. Well, well. You guys are cute. No, we're not. Hold on, we're, we're about to have a fight. <laughs> no. What do you mean I can't worry about you? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's even better than worrying about each other? Not worrying about each other. See? Point taken. Brainy weddings are meant to be good luck anyway. I always wonder where that came from. That sounds like lip service for the happy couple on a rainy, rained out wedding that shouldn't have rained, but then they just complained so much and then they're like, we gotta flip this around somehow. <laughs> yeah. To avoid a meltdown in the, if it rained. Yeah, that's, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's going where I was thinking. To avoid a meltdown if it rains, which must happen often enough. Really? So you don't know? It kind of sucks that I was going in that direction and like, me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't know what. Oh, maybe it's just a thing among elves. Have you uh, have you heard of it, Otto? Are you referring to the goddess's tears legend? Music changed. I did. It's uh, you know whose song this is? Lucas. It's wait, Rachel's, Rachel's song. Rachel's song. Yeah. I'm like, why, why? I remember it, but I was thinking of Lucas at that point. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where is he? It's like he's in, how does he show up? And moving on. That's the one. Never heard of it. It's actually a whole epic in medieval elven poetry. But I can give you the short version. Go on, I'm curious. All right then. What's your stance on J.R. Tolkien, Tolkien's uh, version of elves? I want to know if you're offended or not. Uh, let's save that for the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago lived a powerful god. Oh, Bilbo. <laughs> oh, jeez. <geez. laughs> wow. He wants to be in uh, a half halfling. Uh, role playing as a halfling. <laughs> right. <laughs> that goddess had many children, but of all her children, one she liked the best. They were the shyest and the quietest. The shyest. <laughs> the shyest. <laughs> the shyest. Wow. <laughs> when their siblings screamed for attention, they sat aside and played with clouds. They played Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> there you go, Brent. I made okay, that reference for you. <laughs> there's gotta be one in every session. Yeah. When their siblings tormented each other, they silently looked at the stars. When their siblings ran away from the rain, they waited and watched the rain fall. The goddess thought, Even if all my children desert me, this one will always be by my side. They are kind and gentle. They will love me and take care of me. She thought of the days ahead and smiled. But one day, as the young godling sat on the edge of a cloud, pondering the world, playing Final Fantasy VII, a gust of wind blew on them, and they lost their balance. Oh no! Don't worry, it's not a sad story. All right then. They died. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like uh, the Final Destination, no items. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Carried by the wind, they floated down to the ground, and immediately they were astonished. There were so many, or there were so many things around them that they'd never seen before. They were both delighted and lost, and they stood rooted in place for many human eras, until a human found them there. Shall we call the godling Aeon and the human Ray just for clarity? That's gonna help me for sure. I get lost without names. All right, Aeon and Ray it is. Ray walked up to Aeon and finding them stunned, guided, uh, guided them forward. They took them to their village and showed them how they lived their life. As days passed by, Aeon started talking to Ray. They discussed stars and planets, clouds, Final Fantasy VII, and suns. <laughs> they talked of harvest and of young children, of famines, and of old men. <laughs> harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. They played a lot of Harvest Moon. <laughs> they talked of time and, it, and of eternity, and as they looked into each other's eyes, they found both the briefest of moments and the longest era in there. That's how they both knew they were in love. They decided to get married, but both of them wanted to ascend of their fam wanted the ascent of their family. Ray got it without any trouble. Their family were quite fond of Aeon by then. But when <laughs> Aeon wanted to see their mother, or the goddess... So, so Aeon is what the Final Fantasy X game talks about summons. Oh, really? They're called Aeons. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's funny. Uh, anyways, that's old hag. <laughs> Give her a chance, my love. She improves. But yeah, at first she wasn't thrilled. In fact, she was outraged that her favorite child should not be or should be taken away from her. That reminds me of someone. I promise you, she's a lot better than my mother. Anyway, she got really angry. She told Aeon, Get married if you wish, but if you do get married, then you shall wither and die, just like your fiancé. Yuck. 
<laughs> Why is that yuck? That's more like yuck. Yeah, I feel like yuck isn't the worst or isn't the best um, word for that. Yeah, it's yuck like, is kind of like ew, gross. But it's like they're gonna wither and die. Ew, gross. Uh, gross. Know, just, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. And to nobody's surprise at this point, Aeon said, "I'm all right with that. What's eternity if I can't have Ray by my side?" Down to get married, they went. For many hours, the goddess was angry and shouted. Then for many more hours, she was despondent and sulked. Then finally, she turned an eye into the ground and to look at Aeon and Ray. And realized that it was only like two minutes and <laughs> yeah. she was just uh, in a timeless area, in the timeless space bubble. She was, she, uh, she was in the hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they were in the field where Ray had first found Aeon. They wore garlands of flowers and they were surrounded with people they loved. Garland is a character in Final Fantasy 4, 2, 1. <laughs> I think it was 1. <laughs> nice. It was 1. And for the first time, Aeon wasn't quiet at all. They were singing and dancing, their eyes sparkling, their hair floating on the wind. And the goddess saw that for the first time in an eternity, their child was happy. She regretted her bitter words then. I don't know why I keep bringing up Final Fantasy stuff, but I am just going to do it because <laughs> I've been playing so much Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh my gosh. But a goddess's word once broken, or once spoken, isn't easily broken. In sadness for her child's mortal days, she started crying. And one by one, her tears hit the earth in a thick cloud of rain. But instead of running from it, Aeon and Ray danced with it. And so the goddess said, For each tear of mine that falls onto you, may you live another year. And even as your hair turns gray and your skin turns parched, May that year see you both dancing and singing, still in love with each other. It sounds like, she, in a different way of saying that, she created time to age people, and she's trying to slow it down. But it's saying that it's being slowed down. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and according to elves, that's how we came to be. But I think that's a bit far-fetched. Uh, my love, are you tearing up? It's nothing. You're just you're really beautiful sometimes. Yeah, I know. I spent five hours in the mirror this morning putting on my <laughs> ears. That's right. These come right off. <laughs> I was sharpening them. <laughs> sharpening. I just imagine elves sharpening their ears. <laughs> That's how they get so pointy. They're just holes wow. and then you just put those as decoration. <laughs> yeah, right. You're a born legend teller, Mr. Bailey's. That was an astonishing rendition of that story. Yeah, that was epic. I'm not gonna look at the rain the same way now. Yeah, it's just a silly legend. It's not silly at all. And you're right. The goddess is a lot better than your mother. Told you. My history re with rain is a lot simpler. I just really love it when it rains outside and you're all warm in doors. Yeah, that's a very cozy feeling. My bedroom when I was a little girl was on the top floor. So I could hear the rain fall at night when I was in my bed. It was great. I wish I, we... You could have just, like, had your bedroom next to the bathroom and listened <laughs> to the people have the rain, a shower. That's yeah. rainy enough. There you go. Anyways, I wish we lived in a world where everyone had that. A place where to be safe while the rain falls outside. For sure. They should all live in Prince Rupert. Oh, it's the cat! Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, oh, look. Here's at least another... Yeah, here's at least another someone who's safe from the rain right now. Oof, that's a very wet little guy. Poor guy. Did he just shake rain all over you? He did a little, but that's fine. He's a cute one. What's he doing here, though? Is he your cat, Otto? Uh, no, but he's been around a couple of times. I do remember him seeing him a week or so ago. He's not a, any friendlier than he was then, although he's not especially aggressive either. Maybe he's adopting this place. Wouldn't be the first. Hey, my store is not up for adoption. I didn't put it on the market. <laughs> That's pretty much how you got Mr. Hyde, too. Wait. Why did I say Mr. Why do I keep saying Mr.? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just, his name is Mr. Hyde. Yeah. I mean, that's how he was introduced, so. Uh, no, that's an apt comparison. It seems that he might be looking for something, though. Or someone. If that's the case, he hasn't found them yet. 
He came by another time a few days ago and was actually quite helpful. But he didn't look settled then either. And there he goes. I'm very mysterious. Hmm. Very mysterious indeed. He's back. Oh. Okay. What, what did I? What did I miss? Why is my Why is my seat wet? A cat, apparently. Ah, yes, I saw it go. What was that about? Uh, we're not entirely sure. He has come by a handful of times, but he doesn't seem to stay for very long or ask for anything. I was saying that he might be looking for someone. Well, perhaps he is. In many traditions, cats are depicted as having special foresight. Messengers between worlds or so to speak. It must some be something to do with how many legs he has. Oh. Foresight. Oh, I get it. Sorry, that's what I was trying to talk. I could not think <laughs> of anything else. Uh, he may know something that we don't or see something we can't see. That's just what they want you to believe. Looking mysterious to get food and cuddles. I was saying that reminds me of someone, actually. Mm, no comment. Uh-oh. Anyhow, the what was that call about? And you know what? We'll find out what that call about was. No, was about uh, on the next episode. Unless he doesn't tell us. That, uh, there you go. That's a company. <laughs> Sorry. Tell uh, us is a company. That's yes. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. If Why am I still talking as Gallon? I don't know. Gala, shut up. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Do the things to do for everyone else, but do it for us. Come on, hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Hit it. Just, again, punch your computer. Hit it. Uh, do it. I, I, Smack it. I was thinking about Final Fantasy IV. No. And four is my favorite one, and I'm playing it right now. Nice. And my favorite character uh, is Rydia, and uh, she is a... <laughs> This is going to be out of context because that's, <laughs> that's on purpose. Okay. She's 12 years old. Okay. And she's uh, her family dies the whole, in the fire thing and hates fire. And she goes to the, uh, the lost world and it comes back as like an 18 or 19 year old. And she is my favorite character. And that's because when I was playing it, I was freaking nine years old. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes, I just wanted to make it out of context on purpose just for that bit entirely. <laughs> nice. So Brent is not problematic. <laughs> I was 9 slash 10 years old when that came out. Yep. 1996. 10 years old. Damn, dude. And I was 1. <laughs>